so hi guys uh, this is my first video in my new series of MQL5 tutorials and um, this series is going to be focused on developing a profitable expert advisor based on some really simple uh, simple conditions <coughs> when you all started with trading I'm sure that you have uh, tried out uh, several simple trading uh, strategies and that none of them turned out to be profitable in the long term. Right now I am talking about one of the most fundamental uh, strategies in trading and that's the moving average crossover. I'll just show you on the chart how this uh, strategy works. It's really simple. So you take one moving average of any period you like, let's say 50, and then you also take second moving average of some different period, let's say 100. And the strategy looks like this. Uh, when the fast moving average, in this case it's the 50, 50 period moving average, crosses uh, below the slow moving average, you are selling. So for example at this point you are opening a sell position and vice versa. Uh, when the fast moving average uh, goes above the slow moving average, you are opening a buy position as uh, it's happening right here and uh, that's all to our uh, trading uh, strategy I'm sure that all of you have uh, tried this uh, strategy out in the past and I think it's safe to say that when you are trading uh, by yourself it's impossible to use this uh, strategy profitably but as I want to show you how really powerful the automatic programming is or automatic trading is, I want uh, to show you in this series how can I turn this idea into a profitable one. So this is just going to be the first video, so we'll do some, some basics and yeah, let's, let's get to it. I'm opening my MT5 or MQL5 editor <coughs> where I'm going to work and let's uh, not waste any time. So I'm going to create a new project of Expert Advisor with the, this template setting and I'm gonna call it Moving Average Pro EA Project. So this is it. I'm gonna click on next, next and finish. So uh, here is our project. I can type here the description of our project. So this project focuses on using moving average cross over a strategy. Okay, so this is it. I can save it and then I'm going to move here to the coding part of this this project. So I'm just gonna do 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 basic stuff in this first video and um, I will continue in the next videos of this series. So firstly what we have to do is to uh, set periods for those two moving averages so let's do that let's say uh, first or fast period let's say 50 and also its type of integer uh, slow period is gonna be period of 200 then I click to compile then in uh, uh, MQL5 you have to import the um, indicators that you are using the on this on init function and in order to do this you have to have something called handles 
handles are like uh, data types that are going to store the uh, indicator values for you for you so fast handle this is going to be for the fast moving average and slow handle this is going to be for the slow moving average and here I'm going to uh, give it a value so now I am loading the moving average um, indicator into this handle and it's got fast period uh, we don't have want any shift and here you can choose the type of moving average I'm going to uh, select for example simple moving average and price close the same thing will do for the slow moving average so slow handle and you'll just uh, change the slow period and that's it <coughs> okay so now we are moving on to this on tick function which runs on each tick uh, on the chart so when the chart moves this function is going to run so now we are going to create two arrays for storing the indicator values so fast array and slow array okay we have these two arrays on tick function the first thing we want to do is to load the moving average values from this fast and slow handle into these fast and slow arrays so we have some values to work with we can do that by calling this copy, copy buffer function. So handle is going to be fast handle, uh, buffer number is 0, 0, and we want two values. And the same thing for the slow handle. Uh, sorry, 0, 0, 2, and slow array. Okay, so this is it. Now, what we are going to do is to uh, now we want a, we want a variable that is going to tell us whether there's a crossover or not so we'll create two variables here called bull, uh, bullish cross and bearish cross and each of them we are going to initialize as a false statement so now let's do this bullish cross is going to equal is a fast array so uh, fast moving average at position 0 so the most recent one is uh, larger than slow array at uh, the, the position one so the most recent value of slow array and also the previous uh, value of this fast moving average was lower than previous value of slow moving average we want to assign true value or false value and we will do the same thing for our uh, bearish cross We'll just change the signs here and that's it. So what we are currently doing is that we are having these moving averages uh, in our code and we are comparing um, the values at, at position 0, so that's the most recent value, at, and at position 1 and that's the previous value so if the previous value of this fast moving average is lower than previous value of the slow moving average so the fast moving average was below and now is above then we have our crossover for uh, the buy uh, the buy position and vice versa so this is going to be uh, all for this first part of the series and in the next videos we'll continue in developing this EA so yeah that's it <laughs>